Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. Last episode we went back into the network, we took on Professor Oak who had a team of level 255s, actually pretty tough, really really tough. And then we uh, battled Cypher who was, um, he was very, Cypher was very strong in the terms of, he had a lot of HP and probably a lot of defense, but we used the move Necromancy which is, uh, a little bit broken in this game, Necromancy is like a one-hit KO move that just, it can't miss, it's just, it's really, really good. But today's episode, we're going to do something that you guys asked me to do, as well as a, a new thing. So if we go back up here, from where we came here before, um, where we found Mewtwo and the whole Blaine event. But before we go into this cave right here, we're going to go into this cave, which I believe is Mewtwo's cave. Alright, so we're in cave, and in here somewhere, I need to try and find it. We should find a, another legendary Pokemon. Ice Stone, sweet. Like, unfortunately all these items, like we came in here before when we, you know, because we came through here for the story. But obviously, um, when I start a new game with the, uh, skipping the arcs, we don't have all the items anymore. So I have to recollect things. I should probably pop a repel as well. That would be a smart idea. Alrighty. Anything up there? Shouldn't be too far in, apparently. We're looking for something. There he is. Heatran! Yo, what's up? Alright, save this. Let's go and capture this bad boy. Oh, what is this Pokemon? How did he get here? Hey, what up, Heatran? Level 150. Not too bad. Actually, I'm probably going to kill it with this, aren't I? Oh, I didn't! I didn't kill it! Oh! I honestly thought I was going to kill it then. That's actually very lucky. And now we go we're spamming the Ultra Balls until we get it. I haven't got many Ultra Balls left, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult. Actually, we're going to Hooper. I forgot, we have Hypnosis. So we can put you to sleep and then try some Ultra Balls. This might actually take a couple of tries. Come on, I thought I had them for a second. One, two, three. Ah, <gasps> it baited me. It baited me so hard. Come on. Alright, I'm going to cut to when we capture this because I wow, I might be here for a uh, a little while unless we can get it. Nope, okay, I need to go for the restore. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys when we uh, capture Heat Ram. Hey, there we go, we caught it. Took about another, like, probably 15, 20 Ultra Balls when we got there in the end, so we caught Heat Ram, nice. Alright, so we got that. Uh, we probably should just... Max Revive Pikachu, save the game, and now we are going to go back out in the first cave we saw, I want to go around to there, but I want to quickly explore up here real quick, just in case there is uh, anything else added, I don't think there is, but just in case, you, know, you never know, you never know, it's like nothing pops up here, Nothing around here, okay. Alright, so let's go back to the first cave. And this has been in the game for a long time, but like when I actually did this, I, I found it out when I first played through the game, there was no absolutely no way we were gonna be able to do this. But now that you know we're level 255, we should be able to beat red. Who are you? You're me? Hello? How's this happening? Could it be because of these crystals in here? And now we're battling. All right. Gonna be battling Trainer Red. He's got Pikachu one. Okay. Uh, let's just switch into Venusaur. And then we'll go Mega Revolve and Earthquake. You ain't gonna stand a chance now. And if you do stand a chance, then I'm just gonna go in, uh, into Zygarde or Hooper and I'll go for Necromancy, <laughs> and I'll just win easy. So um. Yeah, I ain't losing this battle. No way. I can finally get my revenge from losing this battle. It must have been like two years ago. I found this. I think it was around like two years ago. I'm not sure how far the updates went, obviously, because um, I think it was like beta 14, then it was like 14.5, and then 15 for the Orange Archipelago. So it must have been like 14.5, which I think was like at least maybe year and a half, two years ago. It was a while ago, it feels like. But this series has gone on for a long time, because obviously we played the game 
years and years ago, I think like four years ago or so, and then it got revamped, got the new graphics and the, um, the little pictures come up in the tech boxes, I would play for it again, and also I'd start a new game many times, but I'm just, I'm really thankful the creator put in like the, uh, the little, um, thing where we can just skip the Kanto and Orange Archipelago saga, just because I don't want to play for this game, like, like I love this game, I don't want to play for a game like, again like the ninth time. I would have, eventually, but... Dude, can you just like stop putting me to sleep? Let's go to the restore. <laughs> right. Just stop! Let me get a solar beam off, please. Dude, can you like miss a hypnosis? Just one, just one hypnosis, miss. Bro, you're landing like all these hypnosis. Okay, there you go, you finally missed the hypnosis, that's all I wanted. Just one hypnosis, that's all I wanted. And this solar beam actually even do the damage I was hoping it was gonna do. Slowly going. Slowly going. This is like when I one hit KO'd Sypho, it's just slowly going down and down and down. Ooh, okay. Alright, good. Full restore, and then we're gonna go for Earthquake, finish it off. Good. Alright, Charizard, Polyrath. And we will go for a Waterfall. Sunny day. Ooh, we might take two Waterfalls. Let the HP slowly go down, dude. Slowly, slowly going down. And one more. Five Blast did a little bit of damage. Nice, and we've got Venusaur. We will go for a Psychic. Should one-shot it. We one-shot um, Oak's Venusaur, so I'm pretty sure we can one-shot Red's Venusaur. Just keep on going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nice. There's one thing I also want to check after um, this as well. I'm not sure it's going to actually work because I might have to do another event we've already done to activate it, but we'll see. I might need more books. Apparently in the um, the place you can find Mewtwo in Cinnabar Island for the, uh, the first movie event, there should be a scientist in there we can speak to about Pokemon Fusion. I'm not sure we're confused, but we've got books, so uh, maybe we can get like, at least one. We'll see. We'll go capture some Pokemon, do some fusion, fusing if I can. This not it's going in. You know what? Necromancy! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what happens now? No. Oh, where are you going? Was he real? Was he real indeed? I'm not sure if that, like, now does anything. I'm pretty sure that might be, like, the first encounter with that red. Because obviously we battled him in Hoenn, and we've seen him a couple of times before. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be, like, the first running you actually do. Right, let me get healed up. And let's see if this works. If not, then um, I need to go try and find some more bonus chapters and stuff to do. All right, so I'm going to go to Cinnabar Island. All right, again, not sure if this is actually going to work. Go in here. I think there's like a supposed to be like a scientist around here, but it might not show up because we might have to do um, this Mewtwo here. Yeah, might have to do that first. I've like already done the event. Obviously, if you guys want to see the video of it, just um, look for the playlist. Should be appropriately titled, but maybe I'll do the event and then the guy will show up. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I still need to try and find some bonus chapters and stuff to do. And I will catch you guys next time. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.